Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. The big news for today is that the debate between the old and the new pension scheme is not dying down anytime soon. Now multiple states that want to go back to the old pension scheme have requested the finance ministry to give back the money that they have deposited in the new pension scheme. That is why today we will be discussing the difference between the old and the new pension scheme. What is the reason behind such a big political debate and what exactly are the key features of the two pension schemes? But before we do that, there is a very, very important opportunity that all of you must not miss. The Baiju's National Scholarship Test is coming up on 18th of December at 11 a.m. A test that gives you a chance to win up to 90% scholarship on the Baiju's IAS preparation courses. The link to register for this test is given in the description of the video. Make sure you click on that and you give the test first to know your level of preparation and second to get up to 90% scholarship. The registration link will be open till 6 a.m. on the 18th of December. So hurry up and register right away. Now, as you know, the old and the new pension schemes are the two pension schemes that the government of India had introduced for its employees. The old pension scheme, as the name suggests, was an older version of the scheme. The reason why it is in the news is specifically the Congress party, wherever they are fighting elections or wherever they have come to power in states such as Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, etc., Chhattisgarh also, they have promised that they will bring back the old pension scheme. And the difference between the two is very, very simple. See, in old pension scheme, when the government employees used to retire, they would get a fixed pension and they did not have to contribute anything from their salary. On the other hand, in the new pension schemes, the employees of the government would have to contribute a part of their salary to get that pension. That is a major, major difference. Now, the state governments that want to go back to the old pension scheme have asked the central government and the PFRDA, that is the Regulatory Authority for Pension, to return the money that they have actually given in the new pension scheme because they want to go back to the older version. But as expected, the central government has said that that is not possible. As I told you, the Congress party specifically and many other opposition parties also have promised going back to the old pension scheme, especially in those states where the number of government employees are much higher as compared to other states, for example, Himachal Pradesh. Now, the old pension scheme was very simple. At the time that the government employee used to retire, the employee was promised a fixed pension. The formula was the pension will be 50% of the last drawn salary. Also, you'll get other benefits such as revision of the DR, that is the DNS allowance. DNS allowance is an allowance given to fight against rising inflation. It gets increased year after year. That is why even the pension that you used to get was not fixed. It used to increase year after year. In other words, the pension load on the government, the pension fund of the government had to increase year after year. There was also no deduction from the salary. So you did not have to contribute any part of your salary. Apart from that, employees could also have general provident fund. It allowed the employees to contribute a certain percentage of their salary to the provident fund. That was an additional from the pension itself. However, this scheme was discontinued for 2004. The government said that any new employee joining the government now after 2004 will not be under the old pension scheme. Now we are introducing a newer version. Now what were the concerns mainly? See the biggest concern was it was a huge huge financial liability on the government. As we discuss every single year the pension bill used to increase. The major reason being that the DNS allowance would increase and the government would have to increase this pension budget year after year. And no government ever clarified from where are they going to get this money. There was no plan on how the purse of the government would increase every year so much that they will be able to ensure that they are able to provide for the pension. There was never any clarity on that. So financially, it was always a bad decision. That is why it was unsustainable. The personal liabilities would keep on increasing. The pension benefits would have to increase year after year after year. There were better health facilities, which would increase the life expectancy because life expectancy would increase, meaning that now the pensions would have to be paid for a longer period of time. So in short, there was a lot of burden on the union and the state governments and almost every economist was of the view that this old pension scheme was a very, very unsustainable idea. And it is not just in India. You can see other nations as well. Many people give example of Brazil. 
again a country that has similar kind of a pension scheme they have been under a lot of debt mainly because they would have to finance a huge part of their gdp just to get the pensions to their employees if you look at how much pension bills have different states actually occurred you would see that there are certain states that actually have to give almost 80% of their revenue just in pension look at himachal pradesh the total tax revenue of himachal pradesh was 9090 crores out of which 7200 crore plus was only going away in pension just imagine 80% of your earning just going away in pension so how much money are you left with to give salary to actually invest in the infrastructure of the state the more pension bill that you have the lesser money you would be left with to a contribute to the infrastructure to contribute to other welfare schemes so it was always a bad idea as you can see from this graph as well now how did the government introduce a new idea the interesting part is in 1998 the government did not think about introducing a new pension scheme rather the government appointed a project called oasis that is old age social and income security project the idea of the government was let's target those people who are in the unorganized sector so people who are daily wage workers etc they don't get any pension how can we ensure some social security to them for that purpose a report was made this report recommended that individuals that is these unorganized workers could invest some amount of money in certain funds of the market that are safe funds which will give a lower rate of interest but will be safer balanced and then growth funds apart from that these funds will be floated by six different fund managers which can be chosen from the balance would be invested in the corporate fund or in the government securities and the minimum contribution would have to be at least rupees 500 a year that was mainly for unorganized sector that was the suggestion however the government liked the suggestion and a similar kind of thing was then turned into the new pension scheme also known as a national pension scheme both of these are the same this oasis report as i said became the groundwork of the new pension scheme that came into being in jan 2004 remember it does not apply to members of the armed forces they have their separate pension scheme with separate provisions this was launched with an objective to ensure that the government's liability of the pension actually reduces year on year we have certain contribution from the people who are working also and year on year there will be a budget provision so that at the end of the day you don't have a pension bill which is so high that it is unsustainable even today when you talk about the old pension scheme the biggest problem is that we are actually taking away money from our future generations people who are not even born just understand this after 25 30 40 years the pension budget of the government would have to be so huge because the governments are going back to old pension scheme that they would have no other option but to tax the people more money so right now if the maximum income tax slab is 30% it might come to 40 50 60% because the government would have no other source of money that is why it is a very very bad idea as per most of the economists now the features of the new pension scheme are very simple to understand it is implemented by pfrda called the pension fund regulatory and development authority under this scheme all the citizens are allowed to be a part of this if they are aged from 18 to 70 years it's a participatory scheme so you can participate it's not a compulsory scheme employees would contribute to their pension from their salary and a matching contribution will be given from the side of the government if you are a government employee the funds are then invested into the market and you can choose your own pension fund manager so even if you are not a government employee like i am not a government employee you can still open up an nps account when you open up the nps account you will be asked which fund manager do you want to choose to invest your money and there are multiple options sgfc sbi icici etc they will invest your money in the market now if you are working for the government you contribute 10% of your basic salary to the nps and the government will contribute 14% so more than what you are contributing also as i said even those who are not working for the government they can also take part in the nps at a time of your retirement you can withdraw at a time 60% of the total corpus remaining 40% will be invested in annuities annuities means the remaining 40% will be given to you year after year so every year you will have some money coming in which will be taxable so you will be taxed for that 60% you can withdraw out at once but the remaining will be in the form of annuity so every year you will get certain sum now even with the new pension scheme there are some issues which people are pointing towards the first 
biggest issue which the government employees specifically are not happy with is that government employees or anyone who is opting for the NPS would have to contribute from their end. See, many people say that the entire charm of opting for a government job or preparing for many years was the pension that you would get after you retire. The idea of pension was always that you don't have to contribute anything. It would be the government's responsibility to take care of you. That entire plan is being defeated because now you are being asked to contribute to your pension. That is the biggest drawback as per government employees. Second, there is no GPF advantage. So you can't really go ahead with additional contribution of GPF that we earlier discussed. And the biggest issue here is that because your money will be invested in the market, it is not fixed how much money will you get. So if you choose a safe fund, then obviously your money will not go down the drain. But since earlier, the old pension scheme was fixed. You knew how much pension you will get. Now the pension scheme is actually dependent upon your contribution, dependent upon how your funds are invested. So that is not fixed. The pension amount that you will get can vary largely depending on how your money has been invested. The idea of pension is always to have peace of mind so that you know how much money exactly would you be getting. But in the new pension scheme, that will not be the case. That is also the big issue that people are pointing towards. These are all the details that you needed to know about the old versus the new pension scheme. Thank you so much for watching the big news. Have a good day ahead.